Should your taxpayer dollars be used to subsidize the cost of chocolate bars in hospital cafeterias? Or do you think that that taxpayer money should be better served for patients? New research by secondstreet.org found many hospital cafeterias and restaurants in Canada have actually been losing money. We identified over 12 million in losses over a two year period. And many hospitals didn't even provide us with the data, so the total is probably higher. These losses mean taxpayer dollars that are meant to help patients are actually being used to cover losses from selling chocolate bars, sandwiches, drinks, and other food to the public. SecondStreet.org research found that government hospitals even own and operate a couple of important franchises that are losing money. The Windsor Regional Hospital in Ontario and the St. John Regional Hospital in New Brunswick lost over $350,000 over a two-year period through their Tim Hortons franchises. All of these losses mean hospitals have fewer dollars to help patients. For example, while Alberta cafeterias were losing millions, patient Jackie Herreras told us she faced a year-long wait just to see a neurologist. The solution to this problem is simple. When a hospital is losing money through their restaurant or cafeteria, they could always rent the space out to a private restaurant. The Victoria Hospital in Winnipeg did just that back in 2012. That way, the hospital turns a loss into a revenue gain. Addressing inefficiencies in the health system will be even more important as governments tackle enormous backlogs caused by COVID. You can learn more about this in our new report at secondstreet.org. And if you like what we do, please consider a donation.